Today, we're going to talk about the champion mindset and how winners handle their money. Hi guys, Katie Mild. Welcome to this week's Money Minute. So this week, I want to focus on the concept of being a winner and how winners handle their money. What do they do with their money? How do they approach it? And what is their mindset? So the overarching theme of today is this, and it may be a bit controversial, but it's worth putting out there. Winners aren't victims. Let that sink in. This does not mean that unfair, unjust, or bad things don't happen to good people or that these things don't happen to winners. We're all human. We're all going through the human experience in life and things happen. The important thing and the thing that distinguishes winners from everybody else is that winners understand how to quickly get back up, how to quickly recover, and to keep moving. So the overarching theme of today Stop being a victim. If things have happened to you, what can you learn? What's the lesson? What is the takeaway? And how quickly can you get back up, bounce back, and get on the plan of what you need to do? Winners also don't complain. They simply put in the reps. Winners know that it takes time to learn, to understand, to challenge themselves, and to grow. Winners simply get to work. Sometimes very quietly, they get to work and they start producing results. Winners study other winners. Success breeds success, and winners surround themselves with other people who have achieved what they hope to. So this means that they seek out mentors who have achieved goals that they want to. It means that they surround themselves with contemporaries who are just as goal-oriented and have that same focus on achieving something. And when they reach success, winners look around and look for people to mentor them and to help and to give advice to so they can help lift them up. Winners take ownership. This means that they don't blame others when they're feeling low. They first look inward and they're willing to do the hard work of self-assessment and going, what am I doing right? What am I not doing so well? What are my blind spots and how can I improve and get better? They start there, they take ownership and they don't blame. So how can you be a winner? How can you be a winner with your money? The first thing is find a financial mentor now. If you aren't already talking to someone who has achieved what you want to achieve, make it a priority immediately in your life. You have to surround yourself with people who are goal-oriented, focused, and don't embrace the victim mentality. Don't be afraid to ask questions. It's okay if you don't know something, but it's not okay to recognize that you have a gap and then do nothing about it. If you recognize a blind spot in your education, take ownership of it and seek out the answers. Do not be afraid to ask questions. Challenge yourself to read or listen to financial content at least two hours a week. It takes time and consistency for some of these concepts to really, really sink in. So invest that time and know it's a part of your growing. And finally, consistently track your progress, whatever that looks like. Perhaps you're trying to get out of debt. Maybe you're trying to hit an aggressive savings goal. Maybe you're simply just trying to learn how to invest and what that means. Start somewhere and start consistently tracking and at least monthly check in on yourself and hold yourself accountable to the goals that you've set. Remember, winners are not victims. Things happen to them. They don't stay down for long. They figure out the lesson and then they get back to work. So choose today to be a winner with your money. That's it for today. I hope you all have a great weekend. If you like the content I'm putting out, ring the bell below to subscribe and tell me in the comments, how are you winning with your money today? What are you hoping to learn and grow in? Everybody keep chugging, keep at it. Have a great weekend. More next week.